Chapter 5 Keep thy feet when thou goest unto a house of God, and draw near to hear rather than to give of fools the sacrifice, for they do not know they do evil. Cause not thy mouth to hasten, and let not thy heart hasten to bring out a word before God, for God is in the heavens, and thou on the earth. Therefore let thy words be few. For the dream hath come by abundance of business, and the voice of a fool by abundance of words. When thou vowest a vow to God, delay not to complete it, for there is no pleasure in fools. That which thou vowest, complete. Better that thou do not vow, than that thou dost vow and dost not complete. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin, nor say before the messenger that it is an error. Why is God wroth because of thy voice, and hath destroyed the work of thy hands? For in the abundance of dreams both vanities and words abound, but fear thou God. If oppression of the poor and violent taking away of judgment and righteousness thou seest in a province, do not marvel at the matter, for a higher than the high is observing, and high ones are over them. And the abundance of a land is for all, a king for a field is served. Whoso is loving silver is not satisfied with silver, nor he who is in love with stores with increase. Even this is vanity. In the multiplying of good have its consumers been multiplied, and what benefit is to its possessor except the sight of his eyes? Sweet is the sleep of the laborer whether he eat little or much, and the sufficiency of the wealthy is not suffering him to sleep. There is a painful evil I have seen under the sun, wealth kept for its possessor for his evil. And that wealth hath been lost in an evil business, and he hath begotten a son, and there is nothing in his hand. As he came out from the belly of his mother, naked he turneth back to go as he came, and he taketh not away anything of his labor that doth go in his hand. And this also is a painful evil, just as he came, so he goeth. And what advantage is to him who laboreth for wind? Also all his days in darkness he consumeth, and sadness and wrath and sickness abound. Lo, that which I have seen, it is good, because beautiful, to eat, and to drink, and to see good in all one's labor that he laboreth at under the sun, the number of the days of his life that God hath given to him, for it is his portion. Every man also to whom God hath given wealth and riches, and hath given him power to eat of it, and to accept his portion, and to rejoice in his labor, this is a gift of God. For he doth not much remember the days of his life, for God is answering through the joy of his heart.